Ultra Video Pirate Oi, I wanted to make this video showing you how to create a subdomain using Namecheap and their cPanel as a shared hosting customer. So you log into your cPanel on Namecheap and it depends on what server you are given as a shared hosting plan customer. Log in to your Namecheap account then in cPanel and then you'll get to this main screen scroll down until you see domains select subdomains and this is how you create a subdomain I think Namecheap I could be wrong but I think you're limited to I would say around 50 to 100 subdomains something like that but you are allowed quite a few free ones I'm gonna create a subdomain called Anet Taxi because I started my own rideshare business because Computer repair is looking pretty awful right now, and I'm not sure how long that's even a viable business, even part-time. So I decided to start my own rideshare business because I would rather start another business than work in a cubicle and go insane working for some fascist corporation or some fascist government. So you enter the subdomain that you want. I think you're allowed to create a subdomain up to 60 characters then you choose the domain that you want the subdomain if you have multiple domain names with Namecheap then you would hit the drop down arrow and choose the domain then the document root which you can you you want to change this to slash public underscore HTML and then subdomain and then a net taxi so what this will do is it's gonna create a subdomain a net a n e t t a x i dot a net compares dot com and I can install a separate blog on that web on that subdomain I want if I want like a WordPress or maybe even Joomla or whatever or a forums or whatever I want. Now I specified the document root because when I log in via SSH into my shared hosting account at Namecheap, it will create a separate folder, public underscore HTML slash anet taxi, where I can store all of my web files, my files for this new subdomain, and it makes it easier. When I created additional domains, they created a subdomain public underscore HTML slash and then the domain name like John Doe.com so I'm like well okay I will just use the same structure it makes it easy and convenient and it's organized so now I'm gonna click create and there you go success anet taxi dot .com has been created and then it will down below it will should list it there it is there's my new subdomain it's not redirected because I don't want to redirect it I don't want to get too convoluted and complex I just want to show you how you can quickly create a subdomain using Namecheap their cPanel if you're a shared well I would say this is probably also with the VPS but I don't I don't have a VPS with Namecheap this is shared hosting you also have your domain with Namecheap and you also have their cPanel and now I can edit it I can delete it if I wanted to I can manage I can edit the document root and there it is anettaxi.anetcompares.com now like I said before with the subdomain it depends on your hosting provider it depends on how they're configured a lot of them are pretty good about it what you, even with this one there's a tool called soft delicious which is a quick easy way to install free software like free forums free blog CMS's like WordPress and Joomla you can go into here I will show you you go back into cPanel and there's a tool called I think it's at the bottom it's right here soft delicious apps installer this allows you to create these apps that are provided to you for free as a name cheap cPanel customer so you could install WordPress and then when you go to install WordPress you just select your subdomain so what you can do is you can host multiple blogs on one domain 
so you you don't have to spend money on additional domains if you don't want or if you want to start a new business you can just test it out and then later on if your business takes off you can get a separate domain for your business but subdomains are, are pretty good or like for let's say your my website ain't at computers com let's say I wanted a forums I could quickly create a subdomain just like I did and name it forums.anetcomputers.com and then I could go to Softalicious and I could pick one of, the, one of the forum software that's free and I could install it separately. Or I could s install a separate blog or a separate CMS or wikis or whatever, whatever. And also with a subdomain, there's Joomla, there's e-commerce. You could you could create a subdomain called shop.anetcomputers.com and then you could install whatever shopping cart software that you want and it's very convenient and what that does is it can separate your there are ways to integrate forums and shopping carts within WordPress but sometimes it's easier just to use a separate application keep the keep them separate create a separate MySQL database and then use a subdomain because if it's on the same domain it would make logical sense okay well, anetcomputers.com I have my own shop okay just go to shop.anetcomputers.com or VoIP my this video is sponsored by me as a I created my own VoIP service which I'll get to that here in a few seconds so this is just a a real convenient way to save you a little bit of money so you don't have to purchase a a brand new domain which is you know eleven dollars a month or whatever excuse me a year and then you know you have to maintain that and blah 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 whereas you can just create s separate subdomains blog.anetcomputers.com forums.anetcomputers.com shop.anetcomputers.com or whatever you want I just chose since I'm this is a startup so I don't have to create a new domain and you know I just thought well I'll just try it I will try anettaxi.anetcomputers.com it's you know a subsidiary <laughs> of my of anet computers and blah 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 you can tip me via super chat on a live stream paypal paypal me my contribution form at my website anetcomputers.com and or sign up to become a patron on my patreon page if I help solve one of your most common computer problems and you can also sign up for my ANET VoIP it's five ninety five per month and you receive five hundred or four hundred free incoming minutes you get oh wait a minute five it is five hundred five hundred total free incoming minutes it's just five ninety five per month you can test it out you can sign up and this is bring it bring your own device VoIP which means you need to become familiar with setting up VoIP on SIP phones like XLite or Akija or even you know the IP phones so this is a bring it your own device but you can also supplement this one you can use this one you know what I'm saying and or you can test it out and see if you like it and I will help you set up your account if you purchase a VoIP service from me for $5.95 per month. Adios!